he's still pushing the idea that he has like exposed a scam. It's like he won't admit that Jen doesn't fit into his reality. In his reality, he's, she's still a scam. It's not about them, it's about you, your actions, and how you feel about what you did. If you're doing all of this stuff just to keep your page alive, I understand. I understand how it is. I know it sucks to see people with the same amount of subscribers that you have, like Beacon Games, who can make one freaking video and get he can get uh, half a million views, while you have all of those subscribers and you can get videos with 10,000 views. I know, and you got to keep making a whole bunch of them and work that much harder and find all of this shit to say about because you have no clothes. The emperor has no clothes. You're not intelligent. You're not doing anything. The only thing you do is starve yourself of fat to remain skinny, drawn out in the sun, which is making you look age extremely fast. My brother, you look like you're about 48 years old. And the people who once looked at you as an intelligence. See, if you look at a narcissist long enough, like if you stare at them long enough, you start to see something's wrong with this character. And people of intelligence see that quickly something's wrong with you, they move on. So you look at your shit, you lose subscribers daily. So now you're in a fucked up position to where you gotta earn money. But the company of YouTube, you know, you're not putting up the numbers like you used to. So you go to the depths. The depths of shaming and still talking about a woman who, who's dead. What else are you going to do to her? What are you going to do to her family, man? She's gone. The Jen Journey situation was over with in January. You fucked her. You guys fucked her name up. And then when she died, you act like nothing happened. Nobody was talking about her. When I did research last week on the vegan community and I saw it happen, just from being a former cancer patient, someone with empathy, and I just could not believe a community that's supposed to be based around caring for animals allows someone to go out like this. His lie is, I never said her name, so you guys can't say I was ever talking about her. He's worried about legal stuff. He's not worried about uh, emotions, empathy. He's just worried about not legally getting into trouble, so. Where he deleted several comments, comment threads off of the, the video comment section that were basically uh, informing him that, hey, this Jen girl died, you made this pretty damning video of her. But the fact that he was deleting the comments at all means that he's, he's trying to cover something up, he's trying to hide something. Making mistakes does not make you a bad person, but trying to cover up your mistakes uh, instead of, you know, address them and rectify them, uh, that does make you a bad person. I'm not even sure if he made a video about me killing Jen, whatever the name was, I'm not sure, but... People can, people can help me in the contest. I don't even know who this person is. I've never met them. People ask me to give $200,000. And I'm just like, it sounds like a scam to me. Blah, 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 blah. Um, and then they make a video, take me out of context. And it's like, yeah. People expect me to remember everything that people will send me or tell me or whatever. And then they can take me out of context or get angry when I don't. It's like, man, there's no one on the internet who answers more questions than me. And the narcissist is, always brings the conversation back to themselves. There is nobody on the internet, on YouTube, on Tumblr, who answers more questions, who makes more videos than me, answering the questions for my viewers. And if you want to go and take me out of context to make them bad, then that's, that's a shit can't move. They literally asked, they asked for $200,000, literally. No, she did not ask for $200,000. She asked for way less. So I said some things that I didn't really like in hindsight, so I deleted the video. But then people used the video and didn't even use the whole video, it took me out of context and made me look like a fucking bad bastard or whatever. And then I didn't show the other videos that I made and I let it delete because I didn't want to get involved in more drama because people just take me out of context and here we are today. Here we are today. And there's someone saying, Apologize to Jen's family, like, who? I don't, where's the contact? Who are they? I don't even fucking know. Like, who are these people? You idiots. You yeah. know? Like, who? Give me the phone, like, what? And what contact? What do I say? Like, who? Who? What? For when? What did I do wrong? Like, pin it out there. Rest in peace, Jennifer Fulis. Is she even dead? Is she even dead, though? Was it a scam? Is she even dead? Where's the paperwork? Where's, where's the official documentation? Where is the birth? death certificate for that person. Even after Jen's death, Harley still continued to suggest that she was a scam. And at this point, even her aunt Janice chimed in. Dorian Ryder, I just wanted to show that uh, I had posted on 
his live stream. And he deleted it, of course. But I'm putting it out there for his followers to read anyway. Then there's a comment at the top where a YouTuber is talking about him saying that he's not sure if Jen's even dead and making remarks about her death certificate. But this person says, yes, he is evil. And no, he does not believe it. Well, here's a post made by Mark Vandergag. He was the one who made the video challenging Durian Ryder to come out to New York and see Jen for himself. This was a nice, respectful message from Mark, but of course, Durian Ryder deleted it off the comment board. Did you know Jen had two younger siblings that are still teenagers? They're twins. They were born in 1997, the same year their mother was diagnosed. She passed when they were 13, but my, my mother had passed a year before that. Then, then their mom passed, and then Jen was diagnosed. All they've known all of their lives is cancer. Here they are, bending over my sister's grave. Jennifer was buried right next to her mother. They're mourning. Not only are they still mourning their mother, now they have to mourn their sister. And there your videos still are sitting. These kids have been through enough. You don't realize who you're hurting by leaving those videos out there. Understand this. They're teenagers. Their entire lives from the year they were born has been nothing but cancer. I am begging you to take down your videos about my niece so that her siblings can find some peace. And for me. Christ, I've been through enough. You made your point. You left the videos up. You made your point. You made your fucking money off it. Give these kids and give me some peace now and take those videos down. And just as an add-on, I threw on here for anybody who thinks that she could have done the protocol from home. This explains how two of us were going around the clock and had a hard time handling it. How was she supposed to handle it on her own when she was sick? It's not as easy as you think. And just as a last note to Durian Ryder, on that message I told you I was done. I can't emotionally do this anymore. All I wanted from you was an apology and you couldn't do that. Apologize to Jen's family who have respect for me. I'm think the only person who's asking me, bro, on the internet is you. So even though most of the vegan community, if I can call it that, let Harley slander this woman not only in illness but also in death, there were a few smaller channels that continued to stand up against his behavior. Now you may be wondering why I'm still bringing this up. Jen Felici has been dead for a number of months. Well, she's still being trolled, if you can believe that. Harley Johnston has been online saying, is she really dead though? Are you sure it's not a scam? As though this isn't a real situation, as though there aren't grieving people, you know, trying to deal with her dying, um, as though the things you do online find no expression in real people's hearts. To be sorry for something, you wouldn't repeat an action. You told people that a woman is a scam artist. This woman has been dead for three, four months now. You came on last week and you repeated it. Is she even dead? Is there any proof of this right here? You're still shitting on a dead woman. There's a very big disconnect between their actions and their words. A lot of narcissists, this is a great way to catch a narcissist really, is you know they'll, they'll tell you that they're so sorry for their behavior, but yet they're still doing the behavior. Just when you think Harley cannot outdo himself, just when you think it can't get any worse, nope, he did it again. I don't want to give him any more attention, but this is for Jennifer and her family. I'm appalled that people still support Harley. More people need to realize how damaging he is to the online community. It's hardly surprising that he would say something so blatantly disrespectful as this about Jennifer. Even though she passed away a few months ago, my condolences to her family will never forget her and it's so disrespectful of him to say this. Nobody owes you anything, Harley. Why, who, like, who do you think you are? Even though 
His video on cancer scams from a few months ago was deleted. You can still find it around. And on his Tumblr, if you search Jen Journey, you can still find the insulting comments he made about her. The damning accusations that, in his honest opinion, she was a scammer, a scam artist, a drug addict. He could see the evil in her eyes. She was faking her terminal breast cancer with black salve on her chest. And her level of self-entitlement sickened him. But the fact that her family had to post medical documents proving that she did in fact have cancer and that he still didn't believe it and still promoting this notion to his groupies it's so disrespectful and shameful it's insulting to jennifer her family and all the cancer patients and sufferers out there he always says he's open to being proven wrong yet when he is he twists and manipulates the situation so he comes out on top he can never admit he's wrong he can never acknowledge his wrongdoings and rectify them it's like he's incapable of it he wants proof of her death certificate you can Google her obituary if you really need to, Harley. How dare you? Do you have any decency or compassion? And it upsets me and it upsets a lot of people. What a despicable, vile person he is. I can't even say human being because that would imply that he possesses some kind of emotion. Decency and compassion. And like questioning her death. So I think Harley definitely crossed the line. As he has done many times before. And the fact that people still stand by him is disgusting. Calling... Other people frauds and criminals when he's the real fraud and criminal here like He should really look in the mirror because he's projecting this has nothing to do with veganism his videos 